Hello guys, and today I'll be showing you how to get Cyanogen Mod 11, aka Android version 4.4.2, on the GTI 8160, which is a Samsung Galaxy Ace 2. Let's get right into it. For, for this tutorial, you will need to back up all your data. Um, I am not going to be liable if you do break your phone or lose all your data. Just putting it out there, straight out there. If you break your phone, not liable. Break your if you break your phone, not liable. If you delete all your stuff, not liable. So back up everything and be very careful. And follow the tutorial, like point, like I um. How can I explain? Like follow follow the tutorial tutorial exactly how I do it. So first things first, you have to down you have to download the CyanogenMod ROM and the G apps. So once you've that that downloaded. You have to put them on the SD card of your phone, which should be there. So once you have that done, I'll show you now by going into File Manager. And I will show you how I, if I go into my SD card here, um, on keyboard load up. Um, I uh, just put it out there. I think it makes your phone that bitting faster, and it makes it look cool. So once you are in your SD card, I can show you how I have both the the ROM and the G apps. The G apps that is down in the description is the G apps for Science Mod Eleven, which is four point four point two. Just put it out there. So once you've that all done, you can plug it out from your computer, which I'll do here. Plug it out from your phone. Throw that away. <laughs> So you're just left with your phone. So you can just power off, power off. I'm not powering off. I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna have to show you once this powers off how it can download mode. So once this finishes, yeah, okay, there we go. So all you have to do is hold the home button, the volume up button, and the power button. So once you've all three of those buttons done, volume up, home button, and power button. So you hold those, and your phone should vibrate. And then the Samsung Galaxy A2 logo should come up. So that's how you get into download, I mean not download mode, recovery mode. As I say in download mode, I should have probably said recovery mode. But anyways, once you've gone into this, if you're not already on a CM10, you're, on, you're just on... Uh, stock Android, you have to go down to wipe data and factory reset. This is where it deletes all your stuff. One focus, there we go. Wipe data and factory reset. So, once you have that done, you have to go into install file, install, install, um, install something from external device or something like that. Something along those lines on the first page. And once you have that done, you should have to, you have to locate your G apps or or the ROM itself. I have them both in the same folder. It doesn't matter which one you install first. Once you once you install the G apps though, it should say um, complete down here, and it should say like P A G apps on the screen, like on big writing. And I would wouldn't advise touch screen because as you can see here I'm scrolling up and I'm just using my finger to scroll up as you can see I'm just scrolling up and you might click on something by accident yeah, you can, I think you can press the home button and enter but up and down on the volume up and power button is all you really need so once you have the G apps installed you can then install the ROM you click on the ROM it will take a good bit of time to install it same with the G apps it will have progress bar down the bottom, and it will it will install. So, but before you install the CM eleven ROM, before once you've one done, once you've the GF done, or once you have the Science mod done, the first one that you're doing done, you have to go into back and wipe data and factory reset again, and then you have to. Go back into install zip and install the second one, which you have to install, which is the G apps or the Cyanogen Mod 11 ROM, whichever one you didn't do first. You have to do the second one, obviously. 
So once you have that done, you can you can just click on it, and then it should say do you no or yes, yes install whatever or no, and then nothing else. You click on yes to install it, and then once it's done, it should come up here progress bar as I said before, and it'll be done then. And that's the same with the ROM as well. If you go into the ROM, it should say yes or no to install the the ROM so if this would actually focus up and the reason I'm doing uh, I'm showing a tutorial is because all the tutorials on the internet well most of them anyways are in Spanish and I well I, no one I, I couldn't really understand them I had to kind of watch a good few in, in in subtitles on and then I kind of got it and I kind of used some common sense then to Get it done. So once you have both those done, both of those installed, you have to wipe data and factory reset again. So once you have that done, you can reboot the system, which is the top one. So you click on that and it should say down here rebooting. Focus rebooting. So once that's done, no, oh, there's me. Hello, me. Anyways, once that's done, it should come up on screen Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, so once you, this comes up, come on. Oh yeah, you know how I only un upload my um, unboxing video. Oh, that, I'll say it, I'll just say it now. This will take this will take a good five ten minutes to get off this screen. This is this is this is like installing the packages itself on the phone or something. But this is it being installed right now. Like it's it's take a five ten minutes to get on this so just leave it five ten minutes. But this case I will not advise to anyone because my sister has the same case and it's ripping all the way down here and it's really annoying. Um flipping it up and down and up. It's really annoying. But anyways, I have a new case en route. Um so then once you have that in, it should ask you for your language. It's asking me for my pink one of my sim, but anyways, should I ask you for your language? English, United States, English, uh, United Kingdom. Here I'd, I'd click English, United Kingdom, because I'm in Ireland, and most people think Ireland is United Kingdom, but anyways. Once you first get onto it, I don't think Google Now, as it's here, it's online, is actually activated, but to get to Google Now, you have to go into settings. When you, you have to press this button and then go settings here, and nowhere else, just there, and then you brought up to a screen like this. Switch on Google Now, and then you should be good to go. Then you'll get Google Now, and then you are good to go. So thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.